So hello guys welcome to the another video in the playlist of data structures using java in this video we will be solving our second questions on array that is to find the second largest element present in my array in previous lecture we studied how to find the largest element present in my array so here we will check out how to find the second largest element so let's check out with given example what is the exact meaning of this question so we will be given one array and we need to return the second largest now see 23 is my first largest element right and here 18 is my second largest element present in my array so i simply need to print 18 as my second largest element and if there is no any second largest element present in my array i simply need to print as minus 1 so i hope so you understood the meaning of this question now let's check out how we can solve this problem so we are going to solve this problem using three different methods so first check out what is the first method to solve this problem so what will be the first solution that comes in your mind is in previous lecture we came to know that to find the largest element we can simply sort the array and the element present at the last index will always be my last element that is the first largest element right so in similar way if i try to find out right, find out the first largest element and then i will think of second largest element so we know that what the largest element will always be present at index that is last index n minus 1 then can we say that the second largest element will always be present at index of n minus 2 will this always makes any sense let's see see you were given an array and let's try to sort the given array if i sort this given array how it look like it would be 6 then 7 9 18 23 23 23 23 and 23. we came to know that okay n minus 1 is nothing but this element which is my first largest element and then what we did is we simply printed the second element present in my array that is second last element present in my array that is again 23 and we are assuming it as the second largest element now is my 23 is my second largest element in my array absolutely no right because 18 is my correct answer and that is the second largest element therefore this is not a correct way to find out the largest element present in my array but if you try to observe one thing clearly over here is that i came to know that okay my last element will always be my first largest element just i need to find out the second largest element so what i can do is i will come over here and i will check is this element is equal to its next element yes 23 is equal to its next element therefore this element present at the la second last index is not my second largest element so i came at this 23 and then again i will check if this 23 is equal to its previous element you said yes and therefore it is not a second largest element then i came at 20 18 and i can see that 18 is not equal to 23 therefore my final answer would be 18 which is my second largest element so i hope so you understood the basic method to finding the second largest element so let's try to code this problem so first thing what we did is we simply sorted the given array in increasing order so what i did is sort the array in increasing order and then what we can do is i can simply keep a variable let's suppose called as a second largest and initially i have kept it as minus 1 the reason why i kept it as a minus 1 because i mentioned that if there is no any second largest element present in my array i have to print it minus 1 that is the reason why i have initialized to minus 1 and i know that the last element is always last element is always my first largest element so i will start with my second element that is second last element n minus 2 and i will go up to first element and simply i will do i minus minus and now what i can do is i will simply do if my a of i is not equal to a of i plus 1 right is not equal to a of i plus 1 which means if i'm standing over here i will check if this element is equal to the next element if it is then this is not the second largest element but if both are not equal i can sure set say that okay this is my second largest element that is a of i and finally i can simply break it out and this is how we can find the second largest element present in my array using method 1 now if i try to get the time complexity what will be the total time complexity again we are sorting the array so this will take p of n log n right and here we are running a loop from last second element till zero in worst case let's suppose we have an array as 3 3 3 3 3 3 so we are coming from this element till my first element which means in worst case you are traversing the whole array therefore the time complexity of this loop would be big of en 
therefore the overall time complexity of method 1 what will be it would be big o of n log n plus big o of n so this would be the overall time complexity of finding the second largest element present in my array so i hope so you understood the first method to find the second largest element present in my array now let's check out the second method to find our the second largest element present in my array so in previous video we came to know that how to find the largest element right so with the help of that what we can do is we can simply find the largest element and again what we can do is again we can run a loop and we can find the largest element except the first largest element now let's check out what does exactly i mean so let's first find out what is the largest element so what we did is we simply assume that my first element can be my largest element so i simply assign as largest as my six then I keep on comparing with every single element present in my array just to confirm this is my largest element. So I came at 3, is my 3 is greater than 6? No. I came at 2, is my 2 greater than 6? No. 6 is not greater than 6, 4 is not greater than 6 and 5 is not greater than 6. So anyhow my largest element came to as 6. Right. Now what I need to do is I need to find the second largest element. Right. I need to find the second largest element. So how we can find the second largest element? Again, I will go on comparing the each and every single element present in my array. And initially, as I told you earlier that I will simply mark second largest element as minus 1. And I will come over here is and I will see is my 6 greater than minus 1? You said yes. So should I directly update it to 6? No. Why? Because 6 is equal to my largest element. Therefore, I will not take it. Because if I take 6 over here, you will say that 6 is my second largest element but actually 6 is my first largest element therefore i will not take this element since this element is equal to my largest then i came at 3 and i will see is my 3 greater than minus 1 you said yes and 3 is not equal to largest element therefore simply i will take it as 3 then i will come at 2 is my 2 greater than 3 no then i came at 6 and you say that 6 is greater than 3 but 6 is also equal to largest element therefore i will not take this as 3 then i came at 4 and i will compare this 4 with 3 is my 4 greater than 3 yes and 4 is also not equal to 6 therefore i will simply update it to as 4 and then i came at 5 and i can see that the 5 is greater than 4 and also it is not equal to largest therefore i can simply update it to 5 and sim at the end i can simply print the second which is nothing but my second largest element and we can see that the 5 is my second largest element present in my array. So I hope so. How exactly we are able to find the second largest element? So let's try to write the code for this so that the things can get much more clear than this. So here I have wrote the code to find the largest element present in my array. If you don't know how to write this code, I have already made a video on it. Please go and watch the video number one. Right. So this is how we will find the first largest element. So let's check out how we can find the second largest element present in my array. So as usual, I will declare the variable called as a second largest, right? And I will mark initially it as minus one. And now what we can do is we can simply run a loop from zero and I will go to the last element present in my array. And what I can do is I will check if my air of i is greater than my second largest element, right? It should be greater than second largest element and, and what a of i should not be equal to largest element it should not be equal to largest element then only i can keep on updating my second largest element as a of i right so this is a simple code and finally i can simply print the second largest which will give me the second largest element present in my array so i hope so that this is a simple method to find the second largest element what we did is first of all we find the first largest element present in my array and then we found the second largest element which is not equal to this largest see i mentioned i of i a of i is not equal to largest if, and it is greater than the second then we can simply update it now what will be the total time complexity for this if you try to get the total time complexity for this it required b of n time and again this loop is also running for b of n time therefore overall time complexity would be b of n plus n would be my total time complexity so this was the second method which we can use to find the second largest element present in my array. Now let's check out the final method to find the second largest element present in my array. So before this we performed two different ways to find the largest element, second largest element present in my array. But what we did is we found it separately. 
if you try to see over here is first of all we run a loop to find the first largest and here again we run a loop to find the second largest element present in my array but what we are going to do is rather than running two different loops for the first and the second largest element we will try to do it into the single loop so how we can do it let's check it so what i will do is again i will simply assign a variable first of all first largest which is initially equals to minus one right or you can initialize to six as well because as we discussed in the previous two videos that is a, we will assume that my first element of my array will always be largest we will simply assume it and here what i would do is i will simply declare the second largest and initially i will initialize it to minus one because as we discussed if there is no any second largest element present in my array i have to print it minus one how we can get that there is no any second largest element present in my array suppose if all the elements of array are three if we see three is my first largest element there is no any second largest element present in my array therefore i have to print it minus one that is the reason why i have initialized to minus one then i came i will start from this i will check is my six greater than six no six is not greater than six but six is greater than minus one but what we told us you can only take this if that number is not equal to first largest because if you take six over here my first and the second largest number are becoming same but it should not be right because six and six is my first largest how we can say that this six is my first largest and this six is my second largest no we cannot say this therefore i will not take this six then i will come at eight i will check is this eight greater than six you said yes so now what happened is now eight is greater than six therefore simply got updated to eight but first largest was six and now it was getting marked as eight as my first largest so can i say that the element which was the first largest previously will now become as the second largest let's suppose you in your class you got 90 percent right and you are considered as the first rank now someone comes up with the 93 percentage what will happen that number person will get as a first rank and you will get converted into the second rank in a similar way earlier 6 was considered as the first largest element but now it was replaced by 8 therefore 6 will become my second largest element therefore i will simply update it as a 6 so i will come at 9 now is my 9 greater than 8 you said yes so it get updated and now 8 will get converted into the second largest element so it will come as 8 and again i will come at 10 is my 10 greater than 9 you said yes so simply i will get up to 10 and now 9 will get converted into my second largest element now again i will come at 12 is my 12 greater than 10 you said yes and now 10 will become my second largest similarly i will come at 11 now see is my 11 greater than 12 no 11 is not greater than 12 but it is greater than 11, 10 right it is greater than 10 so simply i can update it as 11 right but make sure that this 11 is not equal to the largest that is the reason why i simply updated it and if you see this array i can get as 11 as my second largest element so i hope so how you are able to find the second largest element what we are doing is we are comparing each and every single element with first largest and second largest right if any number is greater than my first largest element we simply update it to as a first largest element but the element which was present in the first largest will not get converted into second largest element so i hope so you at least you got the central idea before we write down the code so let's check out how we can write the code for this so what i will do is again i will declare the two elements that is first largest which is nothing but minus one i have initialized to minus one and the second largest again i will initialize it to minus one and what i will do is i will simply run a loop that is from zeroth index till i will go to last index and simply do plus plus and what i will do is if my a of i is greater than first largest element right if it is greater than my first largest what i will need to do is i need to update that into the first largest right but before updating what we decided over here is the element which was my first largest will now become it to second largest right because it is getting updated so the second largest will get the value as first largest and finally the first largest will get updated as a r of i a r of i so this is the one condition and finally when we come over here is that is 11 we came to know that 11 is not greater than 12 but it was greater than 10 right it was greater than 10 so we need to take care of this condition as well else if what we can do is 
if a of i is greater than second largest greater than second largest but we need to make sure that it is not equal to the first largest and then a of i is not equal to first largest then i can simply assign sorry second largest to a of i second largest to a of i and finally once i come out of this loop i can simply print it as second largest now see how many loops we are using to find the second largest element single loop therefore the overall time complexity of this algorithm would be big o of n right this is the third and the most optimal approach to find the second largest element present in my array now let's go to the ide and try to submit this code to check whether we are able to submit this code or not so let's try to write the code in our online id that is the second largest the link of this problem will be given in the description box so first of all what they have given is they have passed an array that is ara so first of all i will get the length of this array that is ara dot length right this in java this is how we able to find the length of the given array and then what i will do is i will declare the two variable that is the first largest which is initialized to minus 1 and again i will declare as the second largest which is also initialized to minus 1 And now what I will do is I will go on traversing from zeroth index till last index, and I will do plus plus, and I will check if my error of i is greater than first largest. What I can do is my second largest get updated to the first largest, and the first largest get updated to error of i, right? But if this condition becomes false, also we need to check if, right? Let me write it in a clean way. If error of i is greater than second largest, and that error of i is not equal to whom first largest, right? If it is not equal to first largest, simply I can assign that value to my second largest error of i, and at the end, once I come out of this loop, I can simply return second largest, right? So let's submit this code. Hope so everything is good. Okay, so we are able to get the correct answer for sample test case. Let's submit this problem. yes so we are able to find all the test cases clearly so i hope so you understood this question clearly how to find the second largest element present in my array just in case if you are new to our channel do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos